to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the New Orleans Saints. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. This is Ingram. He'll have a first down past the 40. And they can't bring him down. A big effort that time out of Ingram. Give him 55 yards on the ground. Big run on the opening drive, and they better watch out for this guy or it's going to be a long game. Back when I played in our scouting reports getting ready for games, we put stars next to the guys that we thought were the key players on the other side. There should have been three or four stars next to that guy's switch, name. Switch, switch. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Here's Ingram. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly, and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play, as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And here we go again. Here we go again. Go, go. Move, move. Mike's 50 shot. To throw is Jackson. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Jackson, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Ingram taking it in. And the Ravens take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And he'll have good starting field position as he's up we just shy this. of the 40.
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now Breeze. He's got his all pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. He got 29 yards that time. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Ready. The last Ready. run good for two. Here's second and eight. You're good, you're good. Ready. 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 Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. Jared Cook there to make the grab as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Will Lutz on for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game. Ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now it's Ingram. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Buying time to his left. And he's going to keep it here. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Third and two, here's Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. And this is gonna be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 33. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Right there, right there, 56. 
They'll run on first down. It's Ingram, and that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson towards the end zone for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. The positioning here is key. As a defensive back, you're taught 99% of the time make a play on the football. But in this case, making a play on the man was all the difference. That's what forced the incompletion. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Ingram, and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat? And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. On the draw, this is Ingram. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little game there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. He's going to find his tight end, Boyle. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Here's Jackson operating from the gun. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Mark Andrews there to make the grab. And the Ravens have taken the lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. to score 14 to 7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown.
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes. Back to back, what a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two for one without ever even giving up the football. Looking to throw again on second down. Breeze. That's complete to his running back, Camara. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Bree's going to come up here, first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. From the gun, it's Breeze. Gets this to a standout receiver, Thomas. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. You kill. Mike 48, Mike 48. Bandage, bandage. 48, 48, Mike. Hey, Charlie. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Ready? Here's second and ten now from waiting. about the 32. Opposite, opposite. Two kill. Watch 261, match box light. Check, check, check. Five, five. Snap comes at one, and now Breeze. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. This hey, offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. to throw again. He wants it all for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. On fourth down, off goes Drew Brees, and on comes the Saints kicker, Will Lutz, for the field goal attempt. This is a 49-yard attempt, right hash. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. And he's going to go down. 
Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Ever since the beginning of time on these two games, they were going to miss a player that people would come to me and they would say, but what do you think about this player to the Cowboys? I simply thought that it was way too early in the draft um, evaluation process to ask me about certain players. Well, it's April and the draft is right around the corner. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. 95 95-56, 95-56. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. Tackle made there by Josh Bynes. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing, but with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. You know, the draft is its own weird entity to where anything hey, can happen. Right? There are plenty of examples of players that you thought were not people that were there. We got three, we got three, fellas, we got three. Know, we got three. Again, it's Kamara. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Let's go! I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. From the gun on third down, Breeze. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They run, it's Kamara. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Cowboys aren't interested in seeing the lead, but I don't think they were talking about him in the 17th overall I think like uh, if you know, you trade back to the second round or something like that, maybe the, the third round pick if he's there, if he would be sick. But there are some people that are saying, perhaps what about seeing the lead or seven people? Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Towards the end zone for Brown. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. 
Peter Gross models in this year. Ingram. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. They rifle this one deep right side. This is caught. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Seth Roberts, 48 yards as the Ravens push further out in front. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. Get a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. You know, most of the names that the Cowboys were coming out with at 17, I'm not the biggest, <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, a handful of names, sure, but, you know, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that as this goes on. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. How many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. From the 31. Breeze. This is complete to Michael Thomas. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw, it's Breeze. Well, this is a catch by Ted Ginn. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Breeze now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now, Breeze again. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. To throw again on second down. Breeze. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. 
And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That one goes for 30 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Breeze now. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. Now Breeze. Looking for Thomas. He's got him. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas there to make the grab as his guys are back within a single score. I feel good about Grant Bell for that second time. Everybody on this side of the list. A big spot now for the Saints as they'll indeed go for two. Again, it's Breeze. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Marshawn Lattimore right there on the coverage. He was draped all over it. The out route, such a timing route that sometimes the guy throwing the ball just throws it almost blindly, just kind of counts on that timing winning. And in this case, the ball was batted away. From the gun on third oh. down, Jackson. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. That he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. Well, that takeaway partner right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. On second down, Kamara. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Bree's going to try and throw on third down. Cook's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Jared Cook. 
Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And once again, the Saints are back out in front. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. They'll look to throw. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Jackson. And an alley to run. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 41-yard line. Back to throw. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against the zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. He can run for it, and he will. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. They'll run on first down. It's Ingram. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. And now he'll tuck it in run. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Jackson to throw. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. Second and goal from the one. He'll look to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. How many people are watching this one right here who gave up? Because that score, they might want to try to rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game deciding score. Although, a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one because you and I, we're not going anywhere. We want to see this one play out. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But and, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. So the final seconds tick 